Hi guys, does anyone know where I can get a new irony meter because the extremist Robert Jenneric just broke mine? So during a debate in the House of Commons on the definition of extremism, which the Tories believe is necessary, which in reality is just another gimmick to keep racists and bigots from jumping chip to reform, Michael Gove led a discussion in the House of Commons where some unsavoury figures stood up and expressed themselves. Robert Jenneric, probably the most ironic. Have a listen to this. Been consistent and clear-eyed about the threats that we face for a very long time, and I applaud him for that. And he himself has faced personal threats and responded with bravery and resilience, which we all admire. I fear that the definition, though well-intentioned, lands in no man's land, not going far enough to tackle the real extremists, not doing enough to protect the non-extremists, those people who are simply expressing contrarian views, who might find this definition used against them, not perhaps now, but possibly in the future. What reassurance can my right hand friend give me and others who are concerned about that? And secondly, does he agree with me that this is not the totality of our anti-extremism strategy? Important though it is. We have now to take forward other areas, in particular William Shawcroft's superb recommendations with respect to the Prevent programme, revoking visas for those people who do not share our values who are here. <laughs> what about yourself? Do you have a visa? How would your visa be revoked if you don't have a visa? You don't share British people's values. British people don't agree with painting over murals. P British people don't agree with the sort of rhetoric that you've been pumping out when you were the immigration minister. So what happens to you? Do you get deported and deported to where? Here as visitors, something that appears to have stalled, and ensuring that the police vigorously and fairly implement our existing laws so that everyone can have confidence that there is not and will never be two-tier policing in our country. <laughs> two-tier policing! So, there, of, of course there is two-tier policing. When, the, when the, the Tories do something wrong, it's ignored. When ordinary people do something wrong, they get banged up, they get sent to prison. So, <laughs> or at least arrested, because it's difficult to put people in prison at the moment because the prisons are full. But they at least get arrested or fined. Tories, no. Ordinary people, yes. Like, the irony of this guy standing up and saying, we need to crack down on extremism. The, this is one of the most extreme members of Parliament and extreme Tory MPs. Now, there, he's surrounded by a few other extremists, but he's probably the worst. And he's, of course, demanding that the, uh, the Cabinet Minister, Michael Gove, crack down on extremists. So I presume that would include Robert Jenneric himself. So when is Robert Jenneric going to hand himself in to the police? When is Robert Jenneric going to resign? When is R Robert Jenneric going to have his visa <laughs> or passport taken off him or whatever? Where is he going to be deported to? This is absolutely ridiculous. And this comes back to the main point I said. This is about distracting the public. 14 years of absolute failure and all they've left is the culture war. And they hope that if they become more and more extreme that they'll be able to stop the flow of voters going to the more extreme party, Reform UK. It's not going to work. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.